Mr. Godrej, uh, thanks for joining us. Your perspective on, on this budget? Well, I think uh, it, it had some good points about it. I think uh, the kind of government expenditure planned on infrastructure, the fact that the fiscal deficit will be contained at 3.9%, uh, the fact that uh, various uh, decisions have been taken to help agriculture and other sectors of the economy are good. But I did not see anything to promote manufacturing investment and manufacturing growth in this budget. So, Mr. Godrej, you did have, uh, I mean, in a sense, this budget, a lot of it was about taking away from one hand and giving with the other when it comes to, you know, wealth tax will be abolished, but you'll have a higher surcharge in the super rich and steps like that. So, for industry in general, a roadmap towards lower corporate tax, but it's not happened right now, it's a roadmap. On the other hand, excise seems to be up and, you know, uh, obviously service tax is up as well. Hmm. Yes, so the roadmap is good to have lower corporate tax, but he said he wanted to take incentives away. Now we have to see how, how that is handled. If, uh, first of all, I hope no incentives are taken away retrospectively, uh, because some incentives are based on investment in a particular category or investment in a particular geography. So I think that is extremely important, how that is handled, but that we'll have to see when it is implemented in the next uh, budget. Mr. Godrej, you've been very concerned about tax administration and tax terrorism and adversarial tax. So, uh, he, the clear signal from him is that we are going to move away from an adversarial tax regime. But especially after some of the steps, which are all probably very welcome steps to crack down on black money, are you concerned with a tax department really empowered with some fairly punitive powers now? Or do you think it's fine, it's only in specific no, areas think, uh, to do with black I, I, money? No, I think there he is, uh, he is very clear. He has clearly stated he, he wants to do away with any kind of tax terrorism. He wants to do away with retrospective changes. So I hope he sticks to it. That is important. I think the steps he has taken in terms of the difficulties with the financial sector have been very good. I think it will lead to increased FII, FDI investments. But I had thought he would reduce the MAT rate. For example, he, is, uh, he says there will be no MAT applicable to capital gains made by FIIs. But he has not given similar exemption to companies when they receive, when they get capital gains from their holdings in listed companies. So I think uh, uh, anything that helps manufacturing that we expected would come in this budget, uh, I don't see it. So specifically, what were you looking for? I mean, obviously, there's been a big thrust in Make in India, and so manufacturing is obviously a key priority of the yeah, Modi government. I, I think what what specifically would you have liked to say, have seen yeah. which was not done? I think the MAT rate should have been reduced because it is not possible to invest in new projects which have incentives uh, because of the MAT rate. Now, if he wants to get, I suppose he has done it because he doesn't want incentives in the future. But the fact is that the corporate tax rate has not been reduced and incentives are not available because of MAT. So I suppose it's a transition period. All right, uh, 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 transition period. Mr. Godrej, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us.